latest step sequencer adapted to the Monum, which uh, I'm calling Plane. Uh, it scrolls in two dimensions. Um, the vertical scrolling dimension gives you access to a wider range of, of pitches. And also uh, scroll horizontally to provide a, a, a good amount of space for your sequences. Creating a, a scrolling sequencer on an 8x8 grid is you know, like a, a trivial afternoon project. What happens is when you use larger grids, um, it, uh, it, you run into performance issues, and so there's some tricks that you need to do in order to ensure optimum performance. Uh, this version of Plane uh, also is optimized for CV output. Uh, so, for example, this top row here uh, sends, sends triggers, so you can, you can see that this is actually sending triggers out to the modular here. Oh, there's a couple of sequ There's nothing in between plane and the output of these cables. It's actually producing the, the control voltages itself. There's no intermediate bits of software or virtual instruments in between this and, and the synthesizer. Um, the row beneath this is the playback ruler, as you probably already guessed. So you can have the, the the sequence looping in this one section while you you know kind of scroll off screen and work on something else. All right, so you just entered that, and then you can move the playback ruler, and you can use a simple you know gesture like that to make loops of different lengths. And when it scrolls off screen, you can see planes telling you that hey, there's stuff over here. Um, as far as producing the actual pitch, uh, th there's a few options. I included a really nice uh, sawtooth um, cloud simulation. So this is the output directly from the software, directly from plane. And it has variable fatness, so this is just a plain old sawtooth. And then you can adjust the amount of detune between the oscillator cloud. that. Um, then another thing that I have is DirectCV calibrated um, output to control your analog oscillators. This is the audio frequency generator and if we want to calibrate it, we just hit the calibrate button and now this is calibrated and operating in tune with the saw cloud which is software generated and you can tell they're mixed together here so they're perfectly in tune now. Um, and you didn't have to actually tune the oscillator itself, it's now cal completely calibrated. Um, this version of Plane uses scale degrees and uses my uh, scale quantizers that a lot of you are very familiar with. So right now it's set to Aeolian, we could change it to whatever we want, like major. Here's a scale. How about some Phrygian? Um, in addition to that, uh, what you can also do is transpose in real time on the keyboard, so... That's kind of fun. Um, and it can also program, it can also follow a program corporation score, so you can improvise with the step sequencer within the harmonic confines of a lead sheet. Um, if you're like me, you've probably wanted to kind of automate this stuff, and you don't really have something that's exactly an LFO. Um, it seems like a good use for the ARC. So that's now playing back. Do it again on another parameter. And then so this loops with the sequencer. Um, you don't need an ARC, you can navigate with the keyboard and mouse. And also you don't need a, a big plane like this, you can use a 64, just plug it in and hit connect, and now you have access to this.